What's going on guys, Coach Joe here at the Lion's Den with Coach Matt. What's going on guys? And in our last video, we were talking about shoulder pain and some variations that help with shoulder pain. In this video, we're gonna be covering knee pain. It's like everywhere, everywhere we see, everywhere we look, there's knee pain and lifting. So we wanna help you guys out, give you guys some variations. Coach Matt's gonna take us through this one. Uh, so get your pens, your papers, and your knees, because we're gonna help you out. All right guys, so like I kind of talked about with all these pain variation videos, um, I'm not rehabbing your pain so much as I'm teaching you how to work through your pain. And working through your pain doesn't mean every single session you're coming in and kind of nailing whatever's hurt and it's making the pain worse. We're modifying these movements and modifying the load that we're putting on the bar to kind of get ourselves through these pain situations to be able to train reps pain free. So the first one that I'd go to for a knee pain situation would be either a box squat, which we have right here, or a pin squat. And both of them are gonna be the same thing in terms of what they're doing for us in terms of knee pain. So you don't have to worry about whichever setup you're using, it's just whatever you have on hand. And what we'd use this for is modifying range of motion for our squat to the point where the person wouldn't experience their knee pain. So in this case, you kind of have to let go of the idea of the full range of motion squat. If someone's experiencing knee pain and all I can get them to do is a half squat, that's going to be totally acceptable. In this case, I just want them to get moving a little bit. Over the course of time, we can kind of slowly lower the box or slowly lower those pins that they do start to get a more full range of motion in um, before I start to worry about loading up the bar again. But these are gonna be two great introduction movements for someone's got extreme knee pain. They don't even want to squat at all. I can kind of get them to quarter squat, get them to half squat, and kind of just get them a little bit more confident about moving with their knees because a lot of people with knee pain, they just don't want to squat at all. They've written it off their list. So these are nice two intros to get someone who's super nervous about squatting with knee pain. All right guys, so our next variation for squatting with knee pain would be a tempo variation. In this case, I'm gonna make it a harder tempo variation. So a five, zero, three tempo, which if you've ever done this in normal training, that's an extremely hard tempo. But in the case of knee pain, what this is gonna do is one, we're most likely going to be in a lower load training situation. So this tempo is just going to make this training a little more worth our while. So Joe might not have all the weight he's able to squat on there, but he's at least going to get a little bit of an exercise response out of this. He's still gonna be training hard, he's gonna be sweating. Um, this will make him want to come into the gym a little bit more rather than just coming into the gym to lift an empty barbell. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is the tempo kind of ease us through this range of motion. So it's a lot easier to get someone with a pain situation to kind of ease their way through the situation um, than just to have them jump right into it, especially if they're the type of person that likes to dive bomb their reps. They're going to kind of dive bomb right into that pain. They're going to want to avoid the movement altogether. So having them tempo through it is a great way to do this. So we're gonna cut to Joe doing the 503 tempo squat for us. Okay, so if you aren't familiar with tempos in general, Usually we do three numbers. If you're the type of person that does four numbers, I don't associate with you, that fourth number is useless. Three numbers on the way down is your lowering portion. So that first number, that five, is gonna be how many seconds Joe is going to be lowering for. So it's a nice long five count on the way down. So you can go ahead and do that. The zero is if we're going to do an isometric hold at the bottom. So with a zero, that means we're not gonna do it. So does not have to pause on, all the way at the bottom. And that last number there, is our concentric raising up with it. So it's three on this, which means he's gonna control for three on the way up. So oh, this is- going three up. Oh, we are going three up. What? So it's just too explosive. Coach, Matt is <laughs> killing me. So right. five zero three for the knee pain. Um, again, just because it's gonna make it a lot harder. The load very well meet, might be just a bar depending on the kind of knee pain situation. Um, so this will still make it some decent training regardless of what kind of load you have on there. So super controlled on the way down, even more controlled on the way up. Five, zero, three, ten of squats. Oh, man. I knew I shouldn't have brought him on this video because he's trying to torture me. All right, guys, so our last variation will be a Hatfield squat. And I kind of chose this one just to change up your training a little bit. There's a bunch of variations we can kind of do for knee pain. Um, a lot of them are kind of on the tempo line, which I think some people can get bored with. So this Hatfield squat will be a good way to kind of change up training. And you kind of get to pick where in the movement you're gonna relieve pressure. So with a Hatfield squat, your hands are gonna be down on this bottom bar right here. It's very similar to a um, belt squat, 
where your hands can support you at any given time. So with the knee pain situation, wherever you're experiencing pressure, you can use your upper body on the bottom bar to take away that pressure and you're in full control of where you kind of relieve pressure or where you allow yourself to kind of control the movement with your legs. So half-field squat is great in that knee pain situation and that you're in full control, which is kind of unlike any of the other variations that we can do. Okay, to set up a half-field squat, you need some sort of bar that's just gonna rest on his back because your hands are gonna be busy down on the lower bar. So unfortunately, you do need some sort of SSB style bar that's just gonna sit on your back for you. And then this bottom bar is just set up to about hip height and that'll kind of give you an appropriate resting point when you're all the way at the bottom, you'll still be able to kind of pull yourself back out of the hole. Now, in a normal Hatfield squat, we would be shooting to not really use this bottom bar for so much support, but in this knee pain situation, we're actually gonna use it for a lot of support and we're gonna specifically use it wherever we're kind of experiencing that pain to take that pressure off of our knees and instead kind of put it on the upper body. But we wanna move ourselves through as much of that range of motion without relieving the pressure. As soon as you feel that pain, relieve the pressure and then go right back into your legs controlling the movement. So I'll have Joe do this right now. So he's just setting up. This is just gonna be chilling on his back. He's just trusting the bar to be chilling on his back. Hands are around shoulder width away. And he's gonna go all the way down with this squat. Um, in this case, you could also limit the range of motion. You could put a box down if you wanted to, depending on how severe the knee pain is. But the cool thing with this, again, we kind of control the pressure, so you probably won't need a box in this situation. Um, outside of knee pain situations, this is also just a fun squat to do. A lot of people will do this when they don't have a belt squat machine in their gym for some extra leg volume because you can kind of take some pressure off your knees and off your lower back at the same time. All right guys, so a few things to talk about past these variations. So what's cool in knee pain situations is completely anecdotally, you'll see a lot of people complain about their squat, but be perfectly fine on the deadlift. So if you find you're one of these people and you're kind of getting pissed off by these modifications that you're not lifting the weight you want to, run some deadlift specific programming and that way you can get some heavier training in without really bothering your knees, but still run these modifications as kind of like your supplemental lifts to more deadlift specific programming. This way you're just staying frustrated free and you know keeping your training going as you're going along. Um, some other things to consider. Low bar squats actually tend to be a little bit better for knee pain and the only reason for that is with a low bar squat your knee doesn't shoot as far forward. Don't misinterpret that as your knee shooting forward is going to cause an injury. Again this is more anecdotal you'll see people more knee travel with the more forward knee travel that they experience the more pain they're going to kind of experience and with that low bar squat you're not going to get as much of that you know knee travel forward as you will with the front squat or the high bar squat so it's something to try out it's not ruling out you know your high bar squat or your front squat but it's just another variable that you can play with and lastly we'll grab it off screen here is possibly consider knee wraps the joke with knee wraps is you'll replace your knee pain with the pain of a knee wrap being on your knee. Um, but it could be a good substitute. Again, it's just stuff to play around with. Not all of these are going to work for everybody. So you just want to play with as many variables as possible as you have. Um, all the stuff we kind of talked about today, you can kind of mix and match. So I just talked about low bar. I talked about a tempo squat. You can combine those two. You can combine those two into a box squat. Just keep playing around until you find a situation where you can do reps pain free. Don't kind of accept that your pain situation is barring you from squatting. It's most likely not. There's most likely a combination of stuff that you're going to be able to do. And that combination of stuff is going to make you able to do more stuff in the future. So way better than sitting on the couch. There's something you definitely can be doing for your knee pain. So try all this stuff out. All right, guys, that's a wrap on this video. Make sure you go and subscribe to Coach Matt. He loves this stuff. Very knowledgeable guy. And as lifters, throughout our lifting journey and careers, we always go through these little tweaks, aches, pains, and it's most important for us to continue to train through and around this as best as possible so we can keep putting in that work, all right? So go subscribe to Matt, all right? You can follow him on his Instagram, his YouTube channel, which I will be putting right in the bottom of this video, as well as in the description, and hopefully this stuff helps. So let him know if it helps. If you have any more questions, they can DM you, right? Yeah, Email you, DMs whatever. Are always open. Slide on in those DMs, you hungry boys. All right, and uh, we'll catch up with you guys next time. Stay the lean, mean, strength machine. Peace. Later, guys.